Hi, Dr. Bryson. Are we ready to use peptide supplements for brain health? Peptides have been used all over the world for years with some very good results. Uh, it is, it, it, there's not enough known, I would say, as, uh, or as much known as there are with many medications, for example. But the idea of just throwing them out and saying, look, you know, these things aren't going to be helpful, I think is absolutely wrong. There is tremendous potential. Um, these things can have trophic activities. They can have uh, anti-inflammatory activities. Um, they can have rebuilding activities, stem cell type activities. I mean, there's so many things that can be done. Um, and they can be administered, for example, intranasally, which gets them very well into the brain, um, as well as injections. These things have tremendous potential, I think. And there needs to be a lot more research and analysis so that we can optimize the use of these. It's, it's a part of the armamentarium that has been relatively unexplored in mainstream medicine. So I think that the time is right to, to move forward and to do more and more research and, and, and to find which are the ones that are actually going to be most helpful in various situations. So absolutely, I think that this is an important area for the future.